and gentlemen. Yeah, it's good morning, that's for sure. We've gotten us an okay night's sleep, and it is 4.25 in the morning. Yeah, let's have a look. Right there, you can see 4.26 right now. That's right, and we are just about ready to hit the road or get on the road over there and then start going that direction. Going to Winnipeg, yeah. So are you ready to come and ride along with me? Well, if you are, let's fasten your seatbelt and let's get on down the road. Yeah, it's Saturday. We're gonna go to Winnipeg and drop this trailer. And if they don't have reload, uh, if they don't have a load from there to bring to Steinbach, then just we'll just be Bob Tilling back home. So uh, if you're ready to go, let's get on down the road and uh, let's have ourselves a fantastic day weekend together. Yeah. Well, guys, I am on the road now, and I just figured, you know what? That moon looks beautiful today nice and bright out there I figured ah, I gotta show you the beautiful moon that we got up here because pretty soon you know once I get through Thunder Bay I'll be uh, well going a little bit different direction maybe it won't be quite as nice visible there on the camera I'm sure you can see it right now so I figured you know what I'm going to show you the beautiful bright moon that we have this morning up there in the sky. Looks like a beautiful sky up there as well. Just all the way around. Nice night to be out here driving it looks like. Yeah. We'll just have to keep our eyes on the moose. But other than that we're good to go right? Well ladies and gentlemen we've been giving her for a good while already. The sun has uh, finally come up and we have already passed Dryden, Ontario. Now we did make a pit stop in there and we went and uh, grabbed us a chicken uh, sandwich and a chocolate milk. Yeah, so that was our uh, breakfast this morning. And here we are just cruising right along. And we got about another three and a half hours to Winnipeg at 335 kilometers. So uh, that we can usually do in about three and a half hours. So yeah, we probably have about another hour and a half till we will be in Manitoba. So uh, once we are in Manitoba, we can uh, raise our speed limit a little bit and then we can be in Winnipeg a little quicker generally so uh, so yeah we might be uh, might be getting into Winnipeg there about yeah quarter to one probably quarter to one I mean quarter after one or 130 ish something like that that's not uh, too bad of a time so that way we can just drop our trailer and probably be bob killing back home but then again who knows but we'll see but anyways we'll be uh, making our drop over there and then uh, go from there but uh, yeah, we still have a little bit of a stretch here in Ontario to go and they have me a heavy load so we gotta climb a few more hills yet before we are out of these hills once we enter into Manitoba there's a uh, two little hills there and little valleys up there and that's pretty much it after that we got flat land and we're good to go we'll be able to put the hammer down and just go you know and right now we're not able to do that too much we can keep her at a decent speed up here but every time there's a little bit of a hill you know we slow right down have to shift gears and all that fun stuff. I did see two moose today. I didn't see any yesterday. But I did see two of them this morning. So, uh, so yeah. Looks like this four-wheeler wants me to uh, pass him. So that way uh, 
not stuck behind him anymore, so that's nice of him. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. That way I can keep me on my cruise. He was going a little slower than I am, so uh, appreciate him uh, giving me that space so I can go. But yeah, it was uh, nice sunshine there right when the sun came up. But that's no longer the case. Not at all. Matter of fact, it's pretty cloudy. We we're talking about uh, possibly getting a little bit rain today. So uh, we'll see, I guess, what happens. But right now, it's not doing anything. But that can always change in a, in a, in a heartbeat, right? It always can. We will be coming up to Vermilion Bay here shortly. Probably in the next 10-15 minutes. And then we got a scale up there. They're usually not open, but... Oh, look at this. We got a smoky bear sitting right here around the corner, eh? He's looking at the eastbound lane there, obviously. That's a nice hiding spot. You come around this curve here pretty fast, he's going to capture you. Nice little hiding spot he got there. That's that's nice. <laughs> Catch some of these speeders up here, you know. I always keep my speed limit down, but yeah. But yeah, it's you know like a nice little straight stretch right here, and you come around that bend, he's gonna shoot right at you. <laughs> yeah, there's another one there. Oh, they're patrolling this area today, eh? Wow, yeah, I guess they got one cruising along here. Maybe he got himself a capture there. Maybe he's going back to that spot. Maybe they're going to have two guys sitting there. Oh, well, they got to do their job too, right? Got to make money too, I suppose, or that's their way of... Well, I guess it's not just about making money. It's, it's also about safety, you know, if you're going too fast. You're breaking the law, right? So, and you deserve the ticket, right? That's what I always say. I deserved every single ticket I've ever gotten. I've never gotten a ticket that I didn't deserve. Yep. And I've gotten a few. Right at the beginning when we came to Canada, I did get a few. You know, I was young and wild and all that stuff. He was speeding all the time. And all that stuff, I had a few accidents that were my fault. But then uh, I changed. I said, yeah. They were threatening to take my license away and I said, no, I can't do that. I need my license. And you know, I was way before I even started driving truck and all that. And then I smartened up, and slowed down and started being more responsible. More responsible. And uh, here we are today. We got a great career. I haven't gotten any tickets since I've been with Penners. Speed warning. It's been, uh, I believe it's going to be seven years. It started in 08 in November. It'll be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Speed limit reduced to half. Actually, it's going to be eight years at the end of this year. Wow. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, but I guess it is. I guess it is. So we've been here for a good while and we haven't gotten any violations. Not a ticket, not a warning. We got one verbal warning one time from the DOT scale. That's it. Never did give me a written warning. But yeah. So we've been very lucky, very fortunate. And that goes to the same thing with my uh, personal vehicle. Never did get a ticket with my personal vehicle after that, you know. That was the last ticket I got probably 10 years ago. Maybe even longer than that. Yeah, I'll probably be longer than that. Maybe even 13 years ago is the last time I ever got the ticket. So, yeah. Yeah, and as it looks like, here we are coming into Vermilion Bay, Ontario. And the scale looks like it's closed. Yeah. Man, that lake still has got a lot of ice on there. 
I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but there's a lake up there. To the left, and looks like it's still fully ice covered. That's right. But anyways, this is Vermilion Bay for you. Not much here in Vermilion Bay. Right here past this little road. And this is a road that goes up north. I believe the ice road truckers go up here, uh, go north as well. And uh, right here, this little building right here, there used to be another building right beside there, and that one burnt down a couple of years ago. Yeah, there used to be truck parking in there. Since that burned down, they were no longer, they're no longer in business. They closed everything down. You, you can't even park in there anymore. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. Just gonna have to find other places to park, right? Yeah. But anyways, let's get on down the road and see what else will happen today, right? Well, guys, we are just coming into Manitoba. There it is. Welcome to Manitoba. Crossing border. Entering Manitoba. Oh, yeah. I love it. The scale is closed. Yeah. In 600 meters. Keep That's to the right on Mount Canada Highway. Highway 1. Fantastic. I love it. Now we can start putting the hammer down a little bit more. But yeah, that scale is closed today. I love it. These are the two uh, valleys that I was talking about earlier that we got to go through. And then, uh, speed warning. That's it, you know. Now we'll be on a flat stretch of highway and we'll just be giving her. Yeah. That's right. Got one more valley to go through and that's it. And then we will be coming into uh, Fulton Lake here pretty soon. And after that, that's where the uh, highway splits into, uh, I guess, two lanes each direction and they're separate or separated. So we're good to go. And uh, people can pass us, pass us, you know, with no problem. But yeah, I'm happy. Now we are officially in Manitoba. Got about an hour and 45 minutes and we'll be in Winnipeg. Well, we'll probably be in Winnipeg a little earlier than that, but I got to go almost to the north side of Winnipeg to deliver this load to our yard, right? So we'll probably hit the Winnipeg uh, here in about an hour and a half, something like that, and then we'll be in Winnipeg already. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Alrighty guys, we are now on the perimeter here in Winnipeg. We are actually already on our way back home. Yeah, we already dropped our trailer here in Winnipeg. So, uh, didn't receive no messages that I was supposed to bring anything back to the yard. So, uh, said alright, well then I guess I'll just be uh, bobtailing back. That ain't gonna hurt my feelings. Nah, not at all. So, yeah. And it is still a little bit cloudy and it, the wind has picked up a little bit. That is very, very true. And guess what else is new? Well, I don't know if it's new, but we are, as soon as we cross or pass this overpass here, there's Polar Industry there to the right, where Alex Dabadursky works in winter to do the ice roads. Yeah, we got to meet him up there in the truck shop. And so you guys could definitely watch that video if you want, if you haven't already. Right up there, that white trailer you see right there to the right, says Polar on it. Yes, sir, Bob. That's them right there. But anyways, we're going to continue cruising away here. Going to go home and... Yeah. We'll be home here probably about 2.30. Well, maybe not even that long. About quarter after two, I would say we'll... We'll be rolling into the yard. I think so. 
Yep, and now we'll take us a shower. And we'll spend a little bit of time with the family and then we have some plans for tonight. We'll just have to keep on watching and see what we're up to tonight, right? That's right. But anyways, let's continue cruising along here and we'll go home. Have some home time. Well guys, we are here in Winnipeg at our friend's place now and we're having a cold one. Mm -mm -mm. You guys hear some sizzling? So you see some smoke? It's because we got something on the grill. Look at that guys. We're barbecuing. Canadian style. That's right. Yeah, we're gonna have some nice hamburgers it looks like. Oh yeah, I bet that's going to taste really good, eh? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, we are back at home, and it's the next day already, but, uh, hey, you know what? I am getting ready to uh, put all these files into my computer, and then we'll uh, get this video edited up and uh, upload it for you guys for uh, YouTube so you guys can watch it down the road sometime right as you guys are uh, you know aware that uh, we are generally seven days behind so uh, this will come out uh, next week Saturday yeah but today is Sunday when we're finishing off this video but uh, hey we had us a good time there at our friend's place had a couple of beers and it's a few hamburgers and uh, that was awesome he did a good job on them hamburgers so uh, thank you guys for inviting us we appreciate it and uh, yeah so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little vlog it was a little bit of driving and a little bit of hamburger cooking there so uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll be back tomorrow so stick around and have a good day we'll see you again here it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking the walls down